Hey everyone, this is Aya Khalaf. Welcome to another episode from Be Nourished. Salad for a lot of people is something that they are just scared of, they don't want to come next to. Sometimes they feel like it's boring, sometimes they think it doesn't have a taste, and some people are just worried um, thinking about the prep time that is needed to make a salad. But honestly, nothing will make up getting raw vegetables in your diet. <music> Even if you eat all the cooked vegetables in the world, you can't get the same amount of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants you get from raw vegetables. And the good thing about a salad is that it allows you to combine different flavors to get that exotic flavor that you want at the end. Rather, if you're just eating each vegetable alone, each one alone might be boring, but a salad really allows you to add exotic flavors to together to put a dressing at the end and really make your vegetables much more appealing. Today I'm going to show you a cabbage salad. It's made of white and red cabbage, cilantro for the smell and the taste, and I always love putting herbs on my salad. As usual, I love putting something sweet, so I'll be putting oranges, and then I'll add a touch at the end with some roasted sesame seed on top. We will start by shredding about two cups of white cabbage and two cups of red cabbage. You can also buy them pre-shredded and save that time. I'm also going to chop a little bit of cilantro that will give it the nice smell and the exotic taste. And then you can cut one to two oranges depending on how big it is and how much sweetness you want. I just love adding a little bit of sweetness in my salad because it really um, curbs down the sugar cravings after your meal. And then I'll add a sprinkle of roasted sesame seeds and half an avocado. Now avocados go bad really quickly and so usually I actually only serve it at the time that we're actually going to eat the salad. So you can keep your avocado next to your plate and just scoop it out when it's time to eat your salad. Now when it's time for the dressing I put fourth of a cup of olive oil, four tablespoons of apple cider, a small teaspoon of Dijon mustard that is sugar and preservative free and two teaspoons of honey. I shake it really well and again I don't put the dressing on the salad until it's actually time to eat it. If you are planning to store the salad for the next day, do not pour the dressing on top of all the salad. Uh, you can actually pour the dressing in each plate because the salad will stay much longer if it doesn't have a dressing on. Now, if you want to make this even easier, you can just buy the pre-cut or pre-shredded cabbage bags or coleslaw bags, and this way you have the base of your salad already pre-cut. It will just take you a minute or two to cut your oranges, make your dressing, and put everything together. There is really no excuse to not have a salad every single day on your table. Once you get in that habit, you'll see that your weight will be better, your health will be better, because as you fill yourself up with a big bowl of salad with that fiber and the healthy fats we have in there, you will feel that you need much less of the other unhealthy stuff and that's what we call crowding instead of saying i will stop myself from eating pasta fill yourself with the healthy stuff first and so your need for the pasta or the rice or the other stuff will actually go down on its own if you try the recipe let me know how you like it and if you have a favorite salad that you want to share with me i would love to see your recipes thank you